Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 175.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released May 20th, 2015, beginning alphabetically with A Force number 1. Marvel's Mightiest Women finally get their own explosive series. In a secluded corner of the battle world, an island nation is fiercely protected by a team of Avengers the like of which has only ever been glimpsed before. Fighting to protect the small sliver of their world that's left, the amazing A-Force stands shoulder to shoulder, ready to take on the Horde. Next we have Avengers World number 21, the last stand of AIM in the Savage Land. Thor and Hyperion unleashed, can Namor survive the Cabal? We've also got Daredevil number 15.1, The Life and Times of Daredevil, 50 Years in the Making. Next, we have Deadpool's Secret Secret Wars number 1 of 4, not a Secret Wars tie-in. Well, it is, but not that Secret Wars. Remember the original Secret Wars from 1984? And remember how Deadpool played a huge important role in it? Wait, you don't? Then you need to read this series immediately and be educated. From the team that brought you Deadpool Killustrated comes the most secretest war of all, plus a bonus Deadpool Contest of Champions tale. We've also got Deathlock number 8, Henry Hayes knocks on Biotech's door, loudly. Michael Collins and Agent Hope have Domino, aim can't be far behind. Next we have Guardians of the Galaxy number 27, Guardians No More. Following the Black Vortex, the Guardians have come into conflict with one another more and more. With rifts forming between them, will their friendship and history be enough to hold the team together? We've also got Loki, Agent of Asgard number 14, The Last Days of Loki. As the Ten Realms face their last hours, ancient enemies march on Asgardia seeking a final vengeance, including King Loki, meaner, madder, and more dangerous than ever before. Meanwhile, what's happened to our Loki? Has the end come early for everyone's favorite trickster? Next, we have Master of Kung Fu number one of four. Welcome to the mystical land of Kunlun, where the study of martial arts reigns supreme. In a world where everyone is well-trained in at least some form of deadly combat, what becomes of the drunken dropout failure? If anyone speaks out against Emperor Zhu, the price is their head. Good thing Shang-Chi is a man of discretion and, oh, who are we kidding? This is going to get nasty. We've also got Moon Knight number 15. There's a monster under the beds of the children of Manhattan and he's hungry. Many children have already fallen to the beast's hunger and it's up to Moon Knight to stop it. Next we have Planet Hulk number 1, a forbidden zone of wild hulks, a battle-worn gladiator named Steve Rogers, a journey that could break the spirit of the world's greatest freedom fighter, plus a backup story by a surprise creative team. We've also got Powers number 3, an all-new chapter in the Eisner Award-winning series that turns the police procedural on its head. Walker and Dean are reunited and discover things about each other they never knew, even after all these years. Plus an unsolvable Powers case that could determine the fate of the entire Powers department. Read the comic and see the brand new Powers TV show on the PlayStation Network. The letter column will feature exclusive behind-the-scenes info on the show from executive producer Brian Michael Bendis. Next, we have Secret Wars Battle World number 1 of 4. When the Marvel Universe and the Ultimate Universe collide, there's only Battle World, featuring the fights, battles, and blowups that are just too big for Secret Wars. When a Doctor Strange possessed Punisher goes on the run, only Spider Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and Ghost Rider can track him down. Question What happens when Modok recruits every single Modok ever for his evil schemes? Answer Modok Madness. We've also got Spider-Verse number one. Spinning out of the Spider-Verse event, a team of spiders finds themselves face-to-face -face with Battle World, starring Spider-Gwen, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Man India, Mayday Parker, Spider-UK, and Spider-Ham. Next, we have Star Wars number five. The greatest space adventure of all time continues as Luke goes home in search of the truth about his late mentor. Leia and Han take on a secret mission of vital importance to the Rebellion. Unfortunately, they both run into some unfriendly encounters. We've also got Ultimate End number 1 of 5. Miles Morales and the rest of the heroes of the Ultimate U face final extinction. As the end of their world becomes inevitable, will the hero's heartbreaking sacrifices make any difference? The dramatic end of an era begins here. Next we have Uncanny X-Men number 34. Mystique returns to the pages of Uncanny X-Men and she's out for vengeance. Will Magic Soul Sword be enough to halt the shapeshifter's wrath? And we've got Wolverine's number 19, Mystique's Endgame is now in final swing, everything is exactly how she planned in this penultimate issue. Out in trades this week we've got All New Ghost Rider Volume 2 Legend Trade Paperback. The All New Ghost Rider has become a local hero, but is Robbie Reyes street racing straight toward eternal damnation? 
When the original Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze shows up, Hellfire Sparks will fly as the legend comes face to face with the reality. It's old school versus new school, age versus youth, east versus west, Ghost Rider versus Ghost Rider. Can the cocky and experienced all new rider stand up to the spirit of vengeance, or will Robbie lose his soul in the battle that ensues? Plus, as his powers continue to evolve, Robbie learns a shocking truth about his long lost parents, but what fate awaits his brother Gabe? What is satanic serial killer Eli Morrow's spirit really after? And as the fatal finish line approaches, will Eli's evil finally push Robbie Reyes over the edge? Collects all new Ghost Rider number 6 through 12. Next we have Axis Revolution's trade paperback. It's a compendious collection of companion stories spinning directly out of Marvel's newest blockbuster event, Axis. As the Red Skull broadcasts hate across the globe, can the Avengers and X-Men quell the madness? Or will they be swept up in it? New World Disorder is the name of the game as the Skull's havoc touches every mind on the planet, and the hero's cure proves worse than the disease. Heroes go bad, villains go good, and Thor goes on a bender? Now shock follows shock as Doctor Strange struggles against his hate, She-Hulk breaks the law, Sandman reaches out to help a friend in prison, Kitty Pride robs a bank, and Nightcrawler decides to avenge the death of Wolverine by hunting down Sabretooth. Experience the inverted world of the Marvel Universe like never before. Collects Access Revolutions number 1 through 4. We've also got Civil War Ms. Marvel trade paperback. As Marvel Civil War tears apart the superhero community, Carol Danvers must choose between enforcing the new Superhero Registration Act or facing prison. Aided by Iron Man, Wonder Man, and the teenage hero Aranya, Carol battles former allies to enforce a law she may not agree with. But to do what she thinks is right, will she tear apart a family? Plus, Carol's past comes back to haunt her. She and the X-Men's Rogue must put aside their differences when a second Carol Danvers appears, seeking revenge on Rogue. But what happens when a boy with the power to make his dreams reality reads Carol's autobiography? It's action and drama as Carol Danvers confronts the chaos of Civil War and the deadly skeletons of her past. Collect Ms. Marvel No. 6-10 through 10 and Ms. Marvel Special No. 1. Next, we have Fantastic Four Epic Collection Volume 25 Strange Days trade paperback, Life and Death Struggles for Marvel's First Family. Just when the FF were coming to terms with Reed Richards' demise, he makes a suitably fantastic return. But that means Dr. Doom is alive too. How did they both survive? Hyperstorm has all the answers, but his incredible lineage means he may be the only foe the Fantastic Four can't beat. That's not the only problem Reed has. There's also the small matter of the Submariner's feelings for Sue. A rejuvenated Franklin completes the family reunion, but will the free, but will a reassembled Fantastic Four have any room for Scott Lang, aka Ant Man? The legendary band is back together, but their joy won't last long. Onslaught is coming. Collecting Fantastic Four number four hundred three to four sixteen, Fantastic Four the Legend, Onslaught, Marvel Universe, and material from Tales of the Marvel Universe. We've also got Secret Warriors, the Complete Collection, Volume 1, trade paperback. Nick Fury, former director of the now-defunct S.H.I.E.L.D., has gathered a special hand-picked team, young and untested. The Secret Warriors the offspring of the most powerful forces on Earth, and with Fury's guidance, they might just have what it takes to save the world. But their mission is upended when Fury discovers a bombshell Hydra conspiracy that reaches back for decades to the very beginnings of S.H.I.E.L.D. As the Howling Commandos reunite and the Secret Warriors face Norman Osborn's Dark Avengers and Thunderbolts, the Leviathan stirs in the darkness, preparing to take on Hydra. The only group that can stop either of these world-conquering organizations is Nick Fury's Secret Warriors, but are these young soldiers unraveling under the pressure? Collecting Secret Warriors number 1 through 16, Dark Reign, The List, Secret Warriors number 1, and material from Dark Reign, New Nation number 1. Next, we have Uncanny Avengers Volume 4, Avenge the Earth trade paperback. Welcome to Planet X, the new mutant homeworld. Everything is great if you possess the mutant gene. The Wasp is the last human alive, relentlessly pursued by Magneto's all-new X-Force and protected by her husband, Havoc. Now as Kang's Kronos Corps arrive on Planet X with a terrible offer, the former Unity Squad members must reunite to defeat the Apocalypse Twins and avenge the Earth. But even with the Time Traveler on their side, is it too late? Which of the seven prime futures will become dominant? And what is Kang's hidden ultimate goal? This is it, the conclusion to an epic two years in the making. Collects Uncanny Avengers number 18 through 22. And we've got Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 vs. S.H.I.E.L.D. trade paperback. Revolution is over, the war has begun, Cyclops and his uncanny X-Men are tired of the hunt. After another near-fatal sentinel attack, they take the fight to S.H.I.E.L.D., 
Maria Hill claims she doesn't know who's building the Sentinels, but she hasn't stopped them either. She's relying on Dazzler, Shield's mutant liaison, to help defuse the situation. But Dazzler lies incapacitated in Mystique's headquarters, and Mystique makes a convincing invitation. And where's Magneto, the former head of the mutant movement? Then, it's an original Sentian as Charles Xavier's last will and testament is discovered, but what's concealed within its pages might be the X-Men's ultimate undoing. Could a previously unknown power now be their greatest threat? How will the Uncanny X-Men cope with the shadows of Xavier's past? Collects Uncanny X-Men number 19 through 25. Alright, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues dot com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.